Do you have pain into your buttocks, back of the legs, or even into your feet and your toes? Sometimes does it feel like it's numb or tingling? Do you feel like the leg is weak when you're trying to use it? You may be suffering from a condition called sciatica. I'm Patrick, and I'm a chiropractor at the award-winning Southwood Chiropractic Clinic. Here we specialise in the diagnosis and treatment of sciatica. Chiropractic has been proven successful in treating sciatica, which in simple terms is irritation to the nerves that come from your lower back and go down your leg. Sciatica can have many causes, but all of them result in irritation to the sciatic nerve. This irritation causes the pain to spread down the leg, and if the irritation is bad enough, pins and needles and numbness will also occur. Pain can originate in any area of this, but will normally follow a straight line, sometimes stopping at the knee, sometimes extending further down. In terms of the causes of sciatica, it can be due to a bulging disc, causing irritation to the nerve. It can be due to normal wear and tear or arthritis of the spine irritating the nerve. If you can, gentle stretching exercises can help the pain from worsening and keep the joint mobile. If possible, lie on your back, bring your knee gently up towards your chest and hold it for a few seconds before releasing it again. Doing this about five to 10 times can help keep the joints mobile and stop it from seizing up. Additionally, keep yourself moving as and when you can do. Don't push yourself, but if you're able to get up and about for five or 10 minutes at a time, it will benefit you more than sitting or lying completely still for the entire day. Try to use ice and not heat. Ice helps cool the inflammation down whilst also blocking the pain signals to your brain. Heat still feels nice, but can cause further irritation or inflammation depending on what the problem is that's causing the sciatica. As chiropractors, we specialize in identifying and treating the exact cause of the sciatica. Quite often, this will involve adjusting the joints in the lower part of the back in order to take some of the pressure off of the nerve and allow it some breathing space. This in turn allows the pain to subside as the nerve continues to heal. Thanks for watching. Would love it if you liked or shared this video with anyone that you think might benefit from this advice. If you have any questions, comment below or give us a call at the clinic and we can help you out.